Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and today is tutorial number 51. In this tutorial we're going to restructure our targeting system to work with our new mobs that we've added. So let's go ahead, open up Unity, and Mono Development. Now where we left off last time, we had just added three new mobs to the scene. Uh, you'll want to make sure that you've added the tag enemy to them and you can actually go down to your prefab you should do this and make sure it's tagged as enemy as well because our targeting system will only target things that are tagged as enemy in an earlier tutorial we went over how to add a new tag you just simply you know add new tag go down to an empty element add whatever you want so after you have all of your mobs tagged you should think about you know, what exactly do you want to happen when you target your mob before we were having the colors change and you really shouldn't do that because you can script the visual appearance of a mob doing that so we're going to go with a different method this time uh, now when we have a mob targeted we want the name to pop up over, t over top of his head and we can do that simply by adding go to create other and a 3d text so I'm going to change this 3d text to be called name I'm going to zero everything out and then I'm going to set the anchor to be lower center. And then I'm going to take it, I'm going to parent it to one of the mobs. So I'll just pick my slug one and I want to reset it again. So it shows up right there. If we actually went in game and took a look, it's probably a little too low and too big. So we'll move it up a bit. It's going to be different on each mob, uh, well at least each mob graphic. So some mobs are going to be much taller than the slug, so you'll want to have it up a, quite a bit higher on those mobs. And Since the slug is a small mob, it's going to be lower. But we'll also want to change the size of this. So character sizing. I figure about half the size that it is now. Let's go, let's go look in game and there it is that's pretty good and we also don't want to call it hello world we want to be able to change its name to the actual name of the mob now once you get it positioned actually there's one more thing I'm going to turn the alignment to center uh, that way there the longer mob name so it will always be centered over the the mob if you left it to left alignment it would be well, if you use left or right alignment, it could be shifted to either side. So just make sure you're using center. Okay, so let's select the mob that we added the name to. And if you come over here and you hit apply, it'll assign any changes you've made to this prefab back to the main prefab that you have, that, that it came from. And that's also going to update all the other mobs in the scene that are made from that prefab. So we'll select it, hit apply, and you'll notice all of them have a hello world above it. Now let's take a look at the targeting script we, we were using in the earlier scenes. So targeting. Now we're going to be able to use most of this again. There's going to be some things that have to change. Uh, we're going to have to have a way to be able to find targets as we move closer to them. Because it won't always just be in that area when we first start and we're not going to be changing their color and we're not using a player attack script anymore but for the most part we're going to be using all of this so let's just go ahead and attach it to something and we'll just start working on it so for lack of a better place to put it I'm just going to slap it on game master for now so there we go I'll start it up and we'll just start with the first air that comes. I'll switch over to the console. No air, it's just attaching it. So when I hit tab, there we go. No render attached to mob slug one. Okay, and the reason why it's doing that is if you click mob slug one, you have an animation and you have a mob. And it's looking for a renderer. And in order to get to that, we'd have to drive down quite a bit right here. So you're going to want 
the material on there. But we're not going to be doing anything with the color for the material, so we can just comment that line out. So right here, we'll comment that out. And we have another one where we deselect it, and it turns it back. So we'll comment that out for now, too. Uh, this is probably going to be our next error that it throws. But let's just save it off. We'll just go through them as they come up. So I'll clear out my console, hit tab, and I get another error. Object reference not set to an instance, yeah, in the set target function. So I'll just double click that, and I'll comment both these out. We'll go back in, start it up, I'll hit clear. Let's get on game settings. Oh, sorry, it was game master. Just so we can see what's going on. So it's telling us that it is finding three targets. And it's uh, mob slug one, two, and three. And then when we hit tab, we'll notice it grabs mob slug one, two, three. So it is cycling through them. So we'll want to change when we have something selected here. In this method, we'll want to activate its GUI text so it displays. And when we deselect it, we'll want to turn that off. Then, after we get that done, we're also going to want to have its health sent to the health bar up here. So, this is where we're actually going to be sending the message. And now that I think of the people who have purchased the scripts, if I go ahead and start making drastic edits to the targeting script, they're not going to actually be able to follow the first 10 tutorials. So I'm going to make another script for the targeting, for our new targeting. Uh, if you didn't purchase the script and you've been following along and you're all caught up, uh, you can just simply edit your other targeting script. But I'll call this one, gee, I don't know, targeting was my first pick. I'm just going to call it target mob. I'll open it up in model development. I'm just going to copy everything that's in targeting and I'll put it in targeting mob or target mob and change the name. I'm going to quickly undo what I did in targeting. Save that. I'm going to go back to Unity. Under Game Master, I want to get rid of the targeting script that I attached and put on my target mob. I'll just hit play quickly to make sure it's all working okay. Expand the targets. Yep. Great, so now that I have this new target mob, I'm just going to actually delete this stuff. And I might as well comment it while I'm here. So target mob dot CS. Uh, the 25th, 2010, this script can be attached to any man and game object and is responsible for allowing the player to target different mobs that are within range. There we go. Clean it up a bit. Actually, this tutorial is nearing 10 minutes already, so I promised my wife and son I'd take him to the zoo today, so I'll save this off and upload it, and 
I'll continue on when we get back from the zoo. I'll see you then.